And this is uh, the three-person shuttle drill. And again, this is something where um, we try to get the ball in the hands of the kids as much as we possibly can. The five to ten person long shuttle lines or anything like that, star drills, take too much time and it's too much time standing in line. With this, it's only three people. They're going to get themselves moving quite a bit. It's a great warm-up drill where the kids get the ball in their stick as much as they can. We're going to run through a progression of things that we can do right out of this. All right, so we got right hand. Um, everybody's passing with the right hand, ready to go. And as you see, one person pops out. When they pop out, they do a little bit of a spin, about maybe eight to ten yards out, and then they turn, they come back. This is a very good way to get loosened up and warmed up, and uh, the ball is moving quite a bit. So it just kind of goes with that. All right, let's go all left. So again, we're going to switch from right, right hand to left hand, just working on that off of this three-person shuttle. All right. And let's hold up. Okay, get two people back in this line just so we can show how it starts again. All right, now this time, what you're going to do is do a uh, ground ball out and then a pass back. Okay, so um, you, can you can ground ball out Miranda to Ann. She'll pass it back to Megan, and then you go out. Okay, ready? Go. All right, ground ball out. So you're picking it up, a little toss back, ground ball out and a toss back, right. So we can do anything we want here off of ground balls just to kind of work off of this. And it's very quick, and then we can work on that. We can not only do ground ball towards, we can start with a ground ball away. So let's see if we can do that. Ground ball actually away. So you gotta get the ground ball out to them a little bit earlier, all right? Or you can turn it back, there you go. Ground ball away, and then that's it, good. And that way, it's picking it up, getting that pass up as quickly as you possibly can to the next person in line. Okay, some other skills that we can work on. All right, go ahead and back and get into your lines there. Is uh, what, one person down there um, is over the shoulder pass. Let's start all the balls down there in the single with the single person. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to pass to the second person in line. And first person goes out for an over the shoulder, goes up, turns around, and passes it back with their left hand. Okay? So just like that. And then the other person's coming back in the line. There you go. Just like that. There you go. Next person goes. Go ahead. And you're coming back. Just like that. There you go. One pass. After you get your over the shoulder pass, go ahead back. Jackie, go ahead back to the end of the line. There you go. You throw your pass back, and then you leave. Throw your pass back and then leave. Working on the over the shoulder pass. And again, we could work on this both with our right hand and our left hand the entire time. You could even incorporate dodging into this. All right, let's go back into our lines a little bit. Go back in, two people in each line. So when we're doing dodging, Okay, the person who is going out, and we usually do this off of a ground ball, so we'll take this first line right here as an example. When Miranda rolls out the ground ball to Megan, she will go out here and she will post herself as a defender, just kind of a fake defender. Megan has to do a dodge, whether it's a face dodge, a roll dodge, anything like that, and then pass it to the next person in the line. Miranda will go out and replace her, and we kind of keep going. So go ahead and do that face dodge, that roll dodge, whatever you're going to do, good pass. Miranda goes out there, we do a ground ball, and we'll be the person she's got to dodge, and then we pass it back, just like that. All right, let's see everybody do that. Okay, any dodge that you want, you can incorporate the, the face dodge, the fake face dodge, which is the bull dodge, or the roll dodge, which are all the kind of the typical ones. And most of these guys are going right to left off of their dodges, so I will switch it up on them, so just to make them a little bit challenged here. All right, all dodges got to be with your left. All dodges got to be with your left. Just to make sure that they are using both the right hand and left hand equally, because that is very, very important. All right, let's hold up. 